let's talk about the Cowboys. And before we even talk about the Cowboys and the Browns, let's talk about the money that Jerry Jones just shat out of his asshole to keep Dak Prescott and CeeDee Lamb on this football team. Jerry Jones just shelled out $240 million for Dak Prescott. 60, what was it? How much was guaranteed? 60 mil? I don't know how much of it was guaranteed. 60 mil a year, I'm not sure how much is guaranteed. But $60 million man, Dak Prescott now, after you know off-season disputes from both him and uh, CeeDee Lamb with their contracts, they get it done three hours before the game starts. My my thoughts on this contract are awesome for Dak, by the way. He just he just reset the quarterback market. When guys like Brock Purdy are going to be available, they're going to want a new deal. All these different quarterbacks are going to want. When Patty Mahomes deal, he's going to want to restructure. Quarterback numbers are going to go through the roof. But what you've essentially done if you're Dallas, you've hitched your wagon to Dak, CeeDee Lamb, Ezekiel. Th this offense that it seems like they've had, and I know Ezekiel's gone and come back, but they've had for forever... This is it. This is the Dallas team you were going to get because your cap space is gone now. And I'm not saying they need to because defensively they're young and they're good. You have Micah Parsons on that side. We'll see what happens when his deal comes up. But still, I don't know if I like it, man. I'm, I'm just going to be honest with you. I, I see this game. I saw Dallas play super, super well yesterday, 33-17. I saw Dak, who played okay, 19 for 32, 180 and a touchdown. Zeke, who is... <laughs> Turning the clock back, I guess. 10 carries, 40 yards, and a touchdown. CeeDee Lamb had a good enough game. The Browns are are just really bad at quarterback right now. Deshaun Watson making some just completely errant throws. I mean, not even close. Two interceptions there. 24 for 45, 169. 45 throws of the football, dude. Like, what are we doing? I'm sorry. Throwing the football 45 times. Good Lord, have mercy. You know what that tells me is that you're getting... No push up front. On first and second down, you're running for one and two, maybe three, instead of committing to the run game when you know your quarterback has not played football for the better part of two years because he's out here getting jerked off in massage parlors and freaking having girls do crazy shit that they don't want to do. So anyway, uh, I can also honestly see why Brandon Ayuk did not want to go to Cleveland now that I'm watching Deshaun Watson play football again. He got sued again? There's new sexual assault allegations on Deshaun Watson? Dude, pack him up, bro. It's not, this This game is not about the Browns to me. This is a great win for Dallas, right? Looked great defensively, looked okay offensively, moved the football, kind of did whatever the fuck they wanted, dude. This is not what I take away from this game. What I take away from this game for Dallas is I would hate to be a Dallas Cowboys fan because Dallas is going to have a good regular season this year. They'll probably win 10 or 11 games and they'll go into that playoffs and they will lose again because that is the culture in Dallas right now with Mike McCarthy with this offense with this team I know it's week one and I'm projecting what I what I think is going to happen but I'm just doing that based on what I have seen happen with this team no matter how good they are in the regular season no matter how great Dak Prescott is as a regular season quarterback when it comes down to it he reminds me a lot now maybe it's not a great comparison but he reminded me a lot of Kirk Cousins time in Minnesota very good in the regular season and when it comes down to it, these playoffs, this is not, <laughs> this is going to end up biting Dallas in the ass, paying Dak this money, paying CeeDee Lamb their money. But again, you, you you have to do it. I get it. I know why they did it. You have to do it because we've seen what this, 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 this team, this, this organization is with Dak Prescott at quarterback. And to me, it's not good enough. You're the, what is it? The most, the billion dollar franchise, Dallas Cowboys haven't won shit since the late 90s. What are we paying all of this money to Dak Prescott, CeeDee Lamb, all these guys for if not to produce at the highest level, not as, at the regular season level? But again, I understand it. You, you don't really have anybody else. Dak's going to hit free agency at the end of the year if you don't sign him. So who are you going to have come in behind him? I get all that. Keep him for four years, develop the next quarterback, maybe you move on, but we'll see. The Cowboys looked good in week one. I'm not here to shit on the Cowboys. I just could not believe when I saw that number that Dak Prescott got and went, wow. All right. This is what the Cowboys are doing. Maybe I'm the, the outlier there, but seeing Dak get that amount to reset the quarterback market after essentially doing nothing in winning time. I don't know. We'll keep an eye on the Dallas team because they are always, always in the limelight. They're, you know, America's team, number one, whatever without winning anything ever. So we'll keep an eye on it. I just think 
You're going to get the same year from these Dallas Cowboys that you got last year, the year before that, which is a very good regular season team that cannot put it together in winning time.